Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. What we know today as the Cartoon Cat was created by Trevor Henderson, a Canadian horror artist. The creature resembles a 1930 character known as the Cartoon Cat, hence its name. There are tons of mysteries behind this monster, but let's try to demystify its nature. So in today's video, we bring you the scary story of a monster famously known as the Cartoon Cat. Let's proceed. Cartoon Cat was first heard in the 1930s, around the time animations created had just begun. It gained attention for only a few years before the then creator filed for bankruptcy. There was something about the Cartoon Cat that kept the audience on their toes whenever they turned on the TV to watch, however, and always felt as though they were being watched. Often, the cartoon character had human eyes and teeth that helped the brute commit violent crimes. Although the series made viewers nauseous, they watched it over and over again. After the original creator of the series left the entertainment scene and died several years later, new episodes were discovered in his house. Although the fresh episodes were never aired, he probably hoped that it would hit the screens as a significant comeback one day. A relative got wind of these episodes and took all of them to his house to store them, and after a few years, he passed on as well. His family sold the stories to pay for his funeral. Fortunately, Trevor Henderson purchased it, and after this, he was inspired to recreate the cartoon cat into a contemporary character, but this time, he made it more substantial. In the early 2000s, nothing was heard of the cartoon cat until August 4th, 2018, when the news of this mysterious being broke the internet. This creature is a hostile cryptid urban legend that resembles a black and white rubber hose cartoon. The monster, which resembles a cartoon cat, is seen sitting behind the door of an abandoned building and sternly looking at the camera. It was, however, too early to conclude as to the cat's mission. On August 10th, another photograph was released, and this time it showed the full image of this creepy creature. Five days later, another picture of the monster cat standing in the middle of the crossroad at night was released online. The image seemed to be taken from inside a car, and the headlight was a source of illumination. It is the only photo that shows the feet with no toes. The creature has a long hose-like neck, hollow eye sockets, and extremely dilated pupils. When a fourth picture of the cat appeared on August 22nd, it was without its feet. Once again, it begs the question as to the true nature of the cartoon cat's feet. When another image of the cat was released on September 26, it looks smaller, and this further corroborates the fact that it can take many forms. The creature is far from being child-friendly, unlike other cartoon characters that leave children jumping up in ecstasy, but it is the leading cause of unexplained child disappearances. This monster is seen as a cat-like humanoid, around 9 feet tall, but it doesn't resemble an actual cat. If you've seen Felix the Cat or the earlier versions of Mickey Mouse, it is easier to identify with this character because of the striking resemblances. If you are unfortunate enough to run into this mischievous cat, you will notice its gigantic eyes and crooked teeth willing to tear any hapless prey apart. While the siren head is unaware of its character, the cartoon cat is pure evil and does every calamitous deed consciously. Worse still, it enjoys inflicting harm on others. In other words, it wouldn't eat a human out of hunger, but out of pleasure. It is safe to say that the cartoon cat is a hedonist. Its tendency towards unspeakable cruelty makes it more like a human assassin than an animalistic predator, but it portends more danger than the worst human serial killer ever known. Henderson confirms the awfulness of his creation when he agrees that it represents a far more powerful and incomprehensible being. No matter how we try to explain it, there are other forms this cat takes that remain a mystery to us. One such form it can take is the cartoon dog, similar in appearance to a rubber hose. The cartoon cat was first animated in the rubber hose. The name was derived from the fact that the cat ought to move as though it had no bones on its legs but rubber. If you look closely at the cartoon cat, you will notice its long, stretchy, and bouncy legs. Again, the cartoon cat can literally take any form, like the famous SpongeBob SquarePants even. This character-shifting feature has left critics drawing a relationship between the creature, Boogeyman, and Pennywise the Dancing Clown. The actual power of the cartoon wheels are unknown, but we do know that it is capable of doing many things that haven't been yet documented. There are many unanswered questions about this frightening legend, but with time, more cats would be let out of the bag. This creature is said to reside in abandoned places like homes, warehouses, and malls, but guess what? It could turn up just about anywhere. Look around because this creature could just be in your neighborhood. So let's look at Johnny and Kylie's encounter with the cartoon cat and how the terrific event unfolded. Like many teenagers, the duo wanted to explore adult life and test their ability to withstand life's challenges. 
Well, every one of us wanted to try out challenging stuff at some point in our lives, but these teenagers wished to improve their fearlessness as they played Bloody Mary in the dark and laughed over the results. They thought of a more challenging task and thought it was wise to visit a haunted house. They agreed to take pictures as proof of their bravery, but did things turn out as expected? Let's see. As they prepared for the new challenge, they didn't know what was in stock for them. Kyle was smart enough to carry two torches and spare batteries, and Johnny went out of his way to procure a gun. Their parents would certainly not approve of such an expedition, and so the teenagers left their parents out of it. They got into the abandoned mall via the broken back door, and it was a straightforward task. Get in, take pictures, and jet out. Simple, isn't it? The boys began exploring the eerie property infested with cobwebs and dust. With the help of the flashlights, they could move around and see things more clearly. Occasionally, they heard mysterious sounds but shrugged it off as mere coincidence. As they continued taking random pictures, Johnny noticed that a shadow moved around as the camera flashed. Even with the gun in his hand, he didn't feel as safe as he thought he'd be. At this point, they were yet to realize the mess they were into. Soon, the boys saw an abandoned arcade from the 1980s. Wow! It felt as though they had hit the jackpot. Of course, these machines have been dysfunctional for many years as the device's power has been cut off. Johnny thought if they could open a few arcades, they could get enough goodies to sustain them for many years. He constantly kicked the Space Invaders machine to open it, but had no idea that something was erroneously stuck there. As he kicked, Kyle continued to take more pictures. One more flash, and the image soon developed. When it came out, both boys were astonished and transfixed for some seconds in disgust. As Johnny continued kicking, he noticed a massive figure with bulgy eyes and teeth as long as a piano key leaning over the machine. The creature then stretched its hands towards Johnny to grab him before it disappeared. It was then that Kyle realized they had stepped into the den of a cartoon cat. It was time to flee from the building as Kyle grabbed his friend and made for the exit door. Johnny, who didn't see the cat before it disappeared, wondered why Kyle changed his mind abruptly. When Kyle showed him the picture, he was mute and increased his pace. As they made for the door, the cartoon cat appeared on the entrance to stop them. It was the style of the creature to frustrate its prey before devouring them. Its black skin made their flashlight dim and the creature smiled to reveal its blood-stained teeth. Johnny then remembered he had a revolver. He brought it out in anticipation that the six bullets in it would salvage the situation. He missed two shots, and even when the third bullet hit the being, it didn't groan. Neither did it bleed. Whew! Before Johnny could scream, the furious creature yanked his body and lifted him in the air, such that the child came face to face with the monster. The poor boy screamed in fear as the creature shoved him down his large throat. Kyle stood still for some seconds, but started running for his life when he saw Johnny's legs kicking from the cat's belly. As he hurried to the door, the cat ran behind him closely with its springy legs. Kyle was sure he wouldn't escape this one, but he needed to move after all. Luckily for him, he managed to cross the door before the cartoon cat could get to him. The cat didn't give up either, it continued the chase. Kyle was lucky to escape, and the cartoon cat left disappointed. Kyle moved several feet away from the building and fell on his feet in regret at the loss of his best friend. How would he explain to the world that a mysterious monster swallowed his friend? No one would believe him. In an interview, Henderson admitted that the cartoon cat is the most dangerous in his collection to the extent that other monsters avoided space. The recent pictures released on the internet revealed more information on the monster. One such photo showed that the cat had five eyes and 